What's up guys, welcome to your 68th Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again with me Travis. And we're still working with the surface view we might for a few more tutorials here. But let's just quickly talk about what we're, what we're doing here. What the surface view is all about. Because again, the view takes up too much processing. We don't want that. Basically what we're doing is we're grabbing the surface from a view and instead of doing that loop from the when we worked with the view, extending the view um, and we just invalidated it so it'd go through again and again and it'd be invalid every time we're gonna set up our own thread that's gonna handle the the animation and and uh, you know that good stuff so that's what we that's why we implemented the runnable because again when we implement runnable that's saying this is kinda like a thread and whatever our thread's gonna do, it's within this runnable method, or within this run method. So let's get this set up here. First thing we want to do is change our constructor. Um, you can delete the comment or not; that's up to you. But we need to pass into the super the context. I'll get rid of that error that we're getting there um, again, or whatever you guys typed here. That's what you're gonna pass in. Um, just deleting some of those those things I just wanted to test it, test how long this would take to explain so uh, there we go we we set that up now what we want to do is we want to kind of um, we want to create a holder because we have the surface of a view and basically what a surface holder is is it helps us manage that surface because it's like a crazy young stallion that's just bucking around and the surface holder is like whoa settle down there young stallion and it also gives us some helpful methods mainly that's the reason so let's set this holder up and we want this holder to be accessible to our whole class so we're going to say surface holder so that's the type and we're going to call this something like our holder and there we go uh, now we just have to import surface holder class and define it within our constructor our holder is going to be equal to git uh, what is it git holder I'm sorry <laughs> there we go we set up our holder already pretty simple now basically like I said we're using this thread to animate our, our canvas so what we're going to do within this and basically what the holder does is it can tell us if the surface is valid because if it's not valid we aren't going to be able to paint and create a canvas and paint to the canvas if the surface is, isn't available or isn't valid so that's one thing that holder can do another thing the holder is going to do is allow us to lock the canvas so no other thread can draw on our canvas without our permission or just some flukes we're going to lock the canvas draw to the canvas and then unlock and display the cam canvas for the whole world to see so that's what we're going to do within this thread but before we do that um, as you remember when we set up our uh, our other thread for our splash um, we need to start a thread so what we're going to do is we're going to create a thread within you know our my bring back surface class we're going to call this our thread because we need to set up a thread we're just going to set this equal to null right at the beginning and then within the constructor we're going to define it so we're going to say our thread equals new thread and we're going to pass in the context of this so basically it's going to say hey we're creating a new thread but use this run method that's what th this is referring to and then all we have to do is just kind of uh, start a thread now because we've defined it so we're going to say our thread and then dot start and that's pretty much it for this tutorial again it's kind of boring we didn't go through anything the next one is where we're going to define everything uh, within a run method but I just want to get this again set up and kind of explain stuff I just wanted to kind of talk and not do a lot of coding because it is pretty important to understand these concepts and what a holder is and a thread and all that good stuff which we'll explain even more as we go on throughout the next couple of tutorials so I'll catch you guys then have a good one peace